do you want to become a good data storyteller obviously all of us want to become in that case you should be very careful on how do you choose your charts in your data story we are going to discuss all the details of which charts will make our data story interesting and impactful let's see what do you think are the qualities of a good story so forget data science and data analysis for a moment but what do you think makes story a good story okay so very simple and fundamental things here what stories you liked when you were a kid okay something that is relatable something through which you can relate right for example some kid got some magical power you could relate with that some kid enjoyed by doing something you could relate with that something fearful all these things through which we can relate okay so every time you are presenting your data story to your client stakeholders business anybody they should be able to relate to your story okay and second and very very fundamental thing about your story should be it should be simple so that they need not apply a lot of brain in understanding what you are trying to say so it should be very very simple and easy to digest if you create a very complex chart right then you need to talk more and more to make them understand which makes the entire presentation entire data story uh, dilutes the entire story okay so you should make it simple and you should make it relatable okay now talking to data science data analysis and exploratory data analysis there are many options many charts many visualization that you can do using python or different tools okay but which are the charts that will make most sense in a given business scenario and why we should choose why, why we should choose those charts only that is what we will try to understand so guys first of all remember these two concepts that don't make it very complex and don't make it something out of the world otherwise people may not be able to relate to your story second thing you have to ask four questions whenever you are planning to put a chart in your presentation okay presentation means you can think of data story so first thing that you have to ask is what is that you wanting to show first first thing what i want to show what i want to show okay and second important thing is who are my audience who are my audience these two things together will give you a good understanding of what charts you should put now remember guys at the moment you ask yourself what i want to show there can be three or four important things that you may be wanting to show okay and i'm going to show you python demo for all this now so first thing that you may be wanting to show is known as relationship what is the meaning of relationship relationship means there is a employee data i want to showcase that as age increases salary also increases so relationship okay second thing that you may be interested in showing is something known as comparison okay what kind of comparison if i say that in a given organization female employees are paid more than male employees that is one kind of comparison fine third thing that i i may be wanting to show through my charts is something known as distributions okay distributions means you know what is the age range of employees of a particular organization maybe in this range more people are there in this range less people are there so some kind of distribution i want to show and fourth thing that i want to show through my charts is something known as composition composition means suppose there are different units in an organization in one unit how many people are male how many people are female in other unit how many people are male how many people are female something like this some kind of composition okay remember whenever you are planning to put any chart in your presentation ask yourself do you want to show relationship do you want to show comparison do you want to show distribution or do you want to show composition based on that choose a simple chart that will represent all this why i am saying a simple chart let's try to understand by this point point number 2 whenever you talk of data story right um your audience there is a very good possibility that your audience is very very non technical when your audience is very very non technical 
then if you put lot of technical terms in that for example uh, suppose simple things suppose correlation i put people are not aware of what correlation is right and if i show them the same thing on a scatter plot where this increases this also increases maybe it will be simpler for them to digest okay so if your audience are somebody who understand technicalities then you can plot whatever you want i mean you can go deep in the technicalities but if in general in general my advice will be keep it simple the reason for that is you do not know where and all the story you need to talk and big possibility is there you may be presenting it to somebody who doesn't understand technicalities okay so there are different charts in all these categories that you can plot i am going to show you two charts in all these categories in python okay and in just one line of python code how you can plot it and how it looks very very simple okay remember guys every time you want to talk charts what makes your story interesting that you want to tell through charts is simplicity and relatability and what you want to keep in mind is who are your audience and what i want to show simple end of story nothing much you need okay now python gives you everything let me go ahead in a notepad i have i have written all these things uh, i mean i will show you in all these categories some very very simple charts in one line of code okay so import matplotlib normal things tips is a sns data that i am importing here so tips data okay let me run through this let me run through this tips is nothing but you know in somebody goes for a restaurant then what is the tip they give so bill is 16.99 tip amount is let's say 1.01 10.34 uh, is the bill tip is 1.66 then other columns are sex smoker day time and size sex is male female smoker you know day is like sunday saturday monday time is whether dinner or lunch and size is how many people came to eat okay so first thing is suppose i want to show some relationship between tip amount and bill amount okay so you see that total is this column total bill tip is this column so if i want to show that when the total bill increases then tip also increases what i will do in relationship category first category i will simply go ahead and put a scatter plot like this okay simple scatter plot sns dot scatter plot data tips total bill tip now you do not need to explain this chart to anybody anybody who understands i mean everybody understand this much that on x axis total bill is there on y axis tip is there and you know there are these these dots telling the stories between them so is it increasing looks like it is increasing with the bill but more concentrated here not 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 kind of very very straight line more density is here okay somewhat our our uh, assumption is somewhat correct but not totally correct right this is one simple very simple but very effective chart in the relationship categories remember we have to make it effective and simplicity is the most effective thing you can do in charts then suppose i want to show one more information here that is known as the bubble chart this is known as the scatter chart and what i'm going to show now is called bubble chart so what this bubble chart will do it will simply increase the size of those dots by you know what is the bill size total bill size see here size is equal to size size is basically in this case what is the total number of people coming okay so here you can simply say that one is smaller and six is larger so wherever you see a larger bubble that means more number of people came to eat smaller bubble less number of people can came to eat and sex is nothing but the color okay so orange is for female and this color is for male so here same scatter plot little more information and showing the relationship between now three things total bill tip amount and how many people came to eat and also you can say male female uh, component is also here okay so in relationship category remember scatter chart and bubble chart two charts always remember these charts okay next come to comparison category so here i am asking one simple question does women pay less tip than men one simple question i will simply go ahead and say sns dot bar plot my x is x and y is tip that's all end of story so here male and female both are more or less same only female is little lesser so yes female pay little lesser tip than male but not too much the margin is very very low so this is my story simple easy relatable easy to understand it is easy to digest anybody you show this they are easy to you know it's easy for them to understand okay in comparison category i can put a line chart like this 
where it tells me if the size of a group increases, does the tip increases? Does the tip increases with increase in size? Yes, looks like roughly, but maybe between four to five, it is declining and again, five to six, it is increasing. So yeah, some relation is there, but you know, it's not a straightforward straight line relation. So what we are trying to show here, we are trying to show comparison between different categories and how one thing increases with in line chart, how it is increases through the line chart. So what these two things are known, one is called bar chart, one is called line chart. Okay. If I want to show the distribution, what is the area of maximum tip or in which category I am getting the maximum tip. So here I will just go and say distribution plot or hist plot histogram you can say on tip. So what you can see here is you are getting between two to four maximum number of tip. Okay. Maximum number of tip you are getting between two to four. Same information we can plot using box plot compared with the above information. So as you can see here between two to four, you are getting maximum 50% of the data is here and some outliers, those you can see here on the right hand side, the same things you'll be able to see here on the above. Okay. So what we did here in distribution, remember box plots and simple histograms will do the job for you. So what I'm doing, I'm trying to make you understand that very simple, simple charts will do the job for you don't fall into the you know somebody told you that create big big charts and you know complex complex chart don't do that remember only this thing if i want to relationship i will do scatter bubble if i want to do comparison i will only say bar and line okay if i want to show distribution i will only only do histogram or box plot if i want to do composition i will I will go ahead and do pie chart and I will go ahead and do stacked bar. Remember these eight to nine charts guys and revolve your presentation around these only. Okay. And it will be effective presentation. Believe me. So in composition, I'm just taking in a category um, to create my, my pie chart. I'm just taking what is my day and value cons. For example, Saturday, Sunday, Monday, how many people came and I'm creating a pie chart like this simple understandable, easy to digest, easy to understand, right? And here I have not given code to you for stacked bar chart because I want you to write the code in the comment. Okay. Sex plus day plus tip combination. I want you to write in the bar chart. Stacked bar chart is nothing but the same bar chart, but other variables will come as a stack. Okay. So I want you to give me the bar chart code for this combination. Okay. Just drop me in comment. How do you write that bar chart? Another bonus thing that I want to cover here is known as heat map. So heat map is nothing but a, a visual representation that tells you the color intensity in terms of the what is the value at that point of time. Okay. For example, if you see this correlation chart here, right? Correlation is a little technical word, but just to make you understand wherever you see a lighter color, that value is highest close to one. Wherever you see a darker color, that value is little less. Okay. So close to 0.5 is darker color as the value becomes lighter and lighter. Th this becomes closer to one. One important chart to understand correlation uh, heat map is this one world population density. As you can see, uh, wherever it's a dense, for example, Delhi, you can see in red color, wherever you see lighter color, that means population density is not that much in that area. Okay. So here the legend is there through this. You can understand. So heat map is something that everybody understand. It's easy to understand and digest all in all to summarize, keep your charts very, very simple, relatable, easy to understand. You should talk less charts should talk more. Remember these eight, nine charts plus heat map and these are ingredients to create a very good story. Okay, please drop me a comment guys. What did you like about this video and what you want me to cover in next video? I'll see you all in the next video wherever you are. Stay safe and take care.